it's me Contessa I've got the car ready packed and today is the perfect day to bring you with me and go rock climbing and hiking and just enjoying just beautiful beautiful nature so this is gonna be a fun little adventure and I can't wait to bring you Check it out. I'm on top of a really cool rock here in Bishop. And it's really fucking amazing here. Check this out. <laughs> to my favorite traveling cards for reading and you guys know that I love these. If you're new, this is an amazing deck. It's all about getting in with the archangels and feeling how the archangels can give us wonderful, amazing, powerful um, kind of sayings or mantras and then giving us guidance on the other side with a crystal. So I'm not going to light any sage or any incense because this is out in the middle of Bishop and we legit just saw the fire search and rescue people kind of walking by. So I'm pretty sure they don't want me to light up anything. So I'm gonna ask you to get as comfortable as you can, release any stress or strain from your body, just take that big, amazing deep breath in. I hope you guys can feel all this incredible air. Now I'm gonna start shuffling and shuffling and shuffling until I feel like it's just right for the cards. Oh my gosh, I have stuff falling out. <laughs> These cards are so ready. Thank God I have my buddy Michaela with me today because she's been helping me so much and it's been amazing. It's been an amazing trip. So I'm so glad I can bring you with me. All right, back to, back to business. Let's do our cards. All right, feels good. So I'm gonna scoot back a little bit and hopefully no more fall down. Two. We're gonna do three cards because I love four, but you know, three is kind of cool for this little space and place. Hopefully I don't drop too much stuff. All right, first card is gonna be Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel, this is the Archangel that comes when our loved ones cross over, when it's time for us to cross over, and Archangel is just amazing. 
So this powerful mantra is like, I am grateful that my vital life force provides me with the energy and motivation to live life to the fullest. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Financial abundance is mine. My connection with the divine is alive and well. I am energized, healthy, and strong. By the way, if you hear stuff in the background that's people yelling and cheering each other on, that's gonna be all the amazing climbers in this area because this is an awesome sport and you know, we're around all these boulders. <laughs> so we get to hear them. So the crystal on the other side is gonna be a rutilated quartz. Rutilated quartz, oh my gosh, this is such a bang of a crystal because this is all about you being willing to move forward in life, being like, challenges are there, but I'm just gonna keep going past that, you know, or frustration is there, but I'm gonna do something better and keep moving forward. So it's saying, you do have the courage within you to move forward and ahead with your ideas by getting the wheels in motion and doing that to create your project or your intention. Recognize the amazing, powerful person that you are and shine on. I love it. Don't let anybody take your darkness. Get that light within you and let it just ping on out. Rutilated quartz is awesome for that. Next card, again with Archangel Uriel. We're really bumping into this Archangel. So this is, you know, a huge time to sit with this archangel. So remember these words, I am blessed with irresistible love and spiritual affluence. All that I need is always within my reach. Extraordinary love and amazing wealth are always available to me. And I have an abundance of spiritual helpers ready to assist me in all areas of life. So don't forget that you have the ability to have people help you, give you awesome guidance and advice. We just sometimes have to ask for it. All right. Morganite, bam, this crystal is so sweet, so loving. It's all about the hearts, really giving yourself awesome love. So it's actually asking you, are you ready to attract the best of everything? Do you kind of push things aside and think that you don't deserve it or that it's not good enough for you? Get that out of your mind. Don't think that anywhere. You know, like, I mean, it's okay to be humble, but like, it's also okay to get the best of everything right? Do you believe that the best is yet to come? That's a good question. If we have, you know, bad circumstances or situations, we kind of keep thinking that we have bad luck. Instead, sit back, you know, see that the best is yet to come. So make a clear decision to manifest the good in this moment. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, not in 10 minutes, just right now. Okay, we can take that second. All right, don't wait until tomorrow. You are being called to experience spirituality in everyday living and see all the love that is in everything. I love it. All right, last card, Archangel Razili. Woo, talk about improving stuff. I am extremely intuitive. So this is like going into, you know, later months and really seeing your intuitive side, being able to really tune into your own self um, my spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time, and I am grateful for divine guidance. My mind is clear and all knowledge is available. I awaken my consciousness, I am calm, and I am at peace. All right, so the crystal is gonna be an azurite. So we've picked this guy before, and this is all about really tuning into your mind's eye, how your intuition is, how this third eye is really working. So it's actually asking, do you want to improve and trust your intuition? Sometimes when things are broken, we don't necessarily want to fix them. Um, we think it's too much work or it's too hard. With our intuition, it really is a lot of work. It's a lot of personal healing, personal love, and personal improvement. So activate your third eye and your exercise your sensory gifts. That's like, you know, being able to really tap into how we're all connected and, and just loving each other. So you receive messages from the divine all the time. And now is the time to notice the signs and interpret them and use them for higher guidance to create ease in your life. So that's a boss card. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So this has been an amazing reading. I'm going to continue on with this amazing journey here in the boulders, hopefully.